So if you are not a regular viewer of my channel, then you probably don't know this about me, but as an influencer, as a creator, as a mommy blogger in the beginning, as just a parent, I always ask my kids whether or not they want to be on camera before I turn it on, unless we're in certain situations where they kind of know that they are going to be on camera, if that makes sense. If there's anything that has to do with them personally, whether it's their sexuality, their body, something problem that they're going through, or some event that's happening, I always 100% make sure to check in with them and ask them if it's okay to share it with you guys here on my Instagram, on my Facebook, anywhere. So they always have a voice, they always have a choice when it comes to the content I share about them, especially as they've gotten older. I do share Kaya a little bit more these days because Wyatt is in his teenage years where he's kind of just like gone playing video games most of the days or on his phone or being a recluse because he's a preteen boy and if you've never had one then maybe you wouldn't understand but that's what they're like all right <laughs> um and kaya is kind of developed into this weird i want to take the camera and vlog and do that so she has shown a little bit more also this channel started because of her uh but yeah so when it comes to what you're about to see please understand that kaya chose and really really wanted me to share this experience with you guys it is not something that i pressure her into it was something that she wanted to share because a she said she didn't care about it at all and b because she understands just like i do the importance of being open and honest and being comfortable with our bodies and not being ashamed of the things going on with our bodies especially as we're growing and maturing and in general so I just want to put that out there that before you watch this, before you start throwing stones at me, I did not invade her privacy in any way. She picked up the camera. She wanted to start vlogging this. It seems like she's a little bit timid on camera, but that's just her personality. Um, but she does truly enjoy doing these videos with me. And the second that she stops is the second that I stop. So uh, just want to put that out there before you go, you know, you judge me. My kids always have and always will have a choice. Um, and yeah. So, enjoy. Hi. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. What are we doing today? We're going to my waxing appointment. <laughs> that sounds weird. <laughs> we should explain before the internet vlogs me, Kaya. Getting my upper lip waxed. Before school starts. Is that something that you wanted, Kaya? Yeah. Yeah. So, before anyone comes at me and says anything, just know that everybody's bodies grow differently and everybody's wants are different. So, I like to let my kids practice autonomy when it comes to their body to a certain extent. And if this makes them happy, then I'm all for it. I was a very hairy child growing up and I wish my mom would have felt the same way about me. So, Kaya's body, Kaya's choice. So we're gonna go do that. But what else are you doing? What's the bigger like fun thing? I'm getting a free facial. You're getting your first facial. Yeah. Yes, and it's free. That is exciting. But it's your first facial. Yeah. That's so exciting. I didn't get my first facial until I was an adult. Excited? Yeah. All right, a little bit more deeper conversation or explanation. So we were here two days ago for my laser hair appointment. Uh, as you know, I've been getting those services done at uh, Pico MD. And while we were there, I kind of asked my uh, nurse who does my laser stuff, I asked Giovanna like, hey, what do you suggest for like acne for teens and preteens? Because Kaya is getting acne like she's becoming an adolescent it's normal she's basically developing the same exact pace that i did as a kid so i totally get what she's going through and they just came out with their own skincare line it's called pico skin and it's for teens so i bought a bottle of that and i showed kai how to use it and then i posted on my stories and then they were like hey while she's here on friday for her waxing appointment would you want to get a free facial for her so I asked her and she said yes and I think she's a little bit nervous because she doesn't know what to expect but I absolutely love facials. I've only had like two or, th or maybe like three or four in my whole lifetime and I didn't get my first one until I was a adult so or an adult so I'm really excited for her to have this opportunity but we're gonna go in because we are exactly on time and I'll show you guys kind of the process. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> 
Here's my baby. And there's my other one. And my other two are at college and at home. Yes, why it is most definitely still sleeping. Yeah, I kind of wondered if the things that Ava used stuck to her skin a little bit too much. Yeah. Yeah, this is a sensitive um, type of wax, so I feel like it's That was the first first part. We're just gonna do the middle and then the end, and then you'll be done. Did that hurt more or less than when your sister did it? Less. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good job. Yeah, she did good. It's not raining this weekend. Oh my gosh, I know. Like every weekend, even if it doesn't say rain. How does that feel, Kaya? Okay. All right, Kaya survived her first facial. What do you think? Like it. You like it? She says that, she's like, I look different. I was like, how do you look different? She's like, my face is all smooth. <laughs> it's clean. <laughs> Does it feel good? Yeah. She said she felt really sleepy after her facial. She's like, I just wanted to fall asleep. I was like, yep, that's how you know you got a good facial is when you're feeling super relaxed after. So they gave her some products, part of their Pico skin line. So that's my son better. I needed more uh, SPF moisturizer, but... Yeah, they got gave her a few products to kind of get her started on her skincare journey. So I asked, I, poor esthetician, I asked her so many questions because A, I wanted to be able to have some knowledge for when you guys ask me questions because you've been asking me on Instagram, but also because I was genuinely curious of like what I should be letting her put on her skin because I've talked about this on Instagram that my generation was like whatever was in ads, whether it was good or not or backed by science or FDA approval or whatever, we just slapped that crap on our faces, you know, Noxzema burning pads, um, scrubs that were probably micro tearing the crap out of our skin, you know, like basically just anything, you know, sun in for your hair, that's not healthy. So I just want to make sure that Kai is starting off on the best foot. So yeah, between this and like her dermatologist, I think that she will be in good hands. How did the waxing go, Kaya? Because I know that's probably what everybody's wondering about. It hurt a lot less than Ava's. <laughs> um, because like hers stuck to my skin, so yeah. she had to pull like really hard. And you don't even have any redness. Did you notice that? Like yeah. your lip doesn't look irritated and at all. when Ava did it, it burnt really bad after. It didn't burn after at all. Oh good. So it Lena did an amazing job. Um, did you like Lena? Were you comfortable with her? Yeah, so I will say that, again, I think body stuff is is personal choice. And again, I want my kids to be able to feel like they can have a little bit of a, autonomy when it, over their body. Like, that's what I've been fighting for, right, is my girls' and my right to choose when it comes to our bodies. And so I feel like growing up, my mom was so strict and I didn't listen to her, of course. Like, I still shaved before I was allowed to and all of that. And I cut myself many times and have scars from it. I didn't have choices when it came to my body, even though it was literally progressing like a woman's body at a faster speed than anyone around me. And I don't ever want my girls to not, or my son, to feel like they can't come to me and talk to me about things that make them uncomfortable. And if it's something that's safe and healthy and okay and affordable for me to help them not resolve, but help them mm, not deal with, but <sighs> process, I guess, in the way that they want to process, then I'm going to do that. So if a little upper lip waxing is makes my daughter feel more confident and beautiful and happy and whatever, then that just gives her less anxiety and she can be the confident self that she, or person that she is and, you know, concentrate on things like crocheting and all the other talents that she has and um, not let those little things get in the way. So yeah, I, I think this is a great experience. I think Kai, well, I'm not going to even speak for her. Did you have a good time? Mm -hmm. Yeah, did you feel a little bit special? Yeah. yeah, facials always make me feel special too. Look, we look like twins <laughs> in our jean jackets, but it was great. Um, it was a good experience. Their facials I are under $100. Um, they are doing away with their upper lip service, but you can add it as like an add-on. So that's probably what we'll do is she'll probably, 
um, get some type of service like done and then we'll just add on the upper lip or maybe I can get a service done and add it on. I don't know, but they are doing away with that the just upper lip waxing and she's not I love I, Kaya's eyebrows. She loves her eyebrows. It doesn't make sense to do like the full waxing that they offer now, but um, yeah, if you have a child that's dealing with like body hair or things like that, I highly suggest going to a professional because it is so different than trying to tackle it at home. Like Kai was really scared going into this appointment, like really scared. And I knew obviously it wasn't going to hurt and I knew that they, she was in good hands. So that's why I was like, it's okay. You can, you know, like I, that's why I, I didn't push her, but I didn't want her to not, I don't know. I didn't want her to be like scared for no re like for no reason. Like her sister scared her because her sister did such a bad job. And this is not like trying to rag on Ava or anything, but Ava's just not a professional. So this, there's a huge difference between going through from a professional to that. So as Kai is learning about these things, I would just rather her be in licensed, certified people's hands because even from, even I don't always do the right things or make the, or do the, best job at certain things because I'm not a licensed esthetician. So as you guys have seen from my hair removal videos with John. <laughs> um, but yeah, we had a good time. You want to go home? Kai's like, I'm ready for a nap. I don't take naps. She doesn't take naps, but I'm just, that's what you look like because you look very relaxed right now. <laughs> okay, so it is, oh, okay, there we go. I thought I'd knock something over. It's Sunday. It's the afternoon. I am getting the camper clean. We just po uh, power washed the outside and now I'm just kind of getting the floors and nooks and crannies all wiped down because we haven't done that yet. Um, and then we're going to start packing up and kind of organizing and going through stuff because my parents left all their camping things in here. Some of the things we'll use, but not everything. We don't need everything that they had. And we'll take the toilet out because there is a chemical toilet stowed away down here, but we won't be using it. Yeah, we're just getting it all set up to eventually go camping. I think we're going to try to go camping this weekend, but we'll see how... We'll see how that goes. Anywhere at this point, if you're like familiar with camping, everywhere is A, super expensive right now. And B, a lot of places are just booked up already. It's insane because so many people are like RV life living, whether it's like temporary or full time. I feel like sites just get booked up like ugh, so far in advance at this point. And if I would have thought ahead, I would have booked more places, but I didn't know we were getting this camper until when we got it. So yeah, also, I feel like campsites don't really have a good cancellation policy, so a lot of the times, a lot of the campgrounds I've been looking at are like, yeah, you can reserve up to whatever amount ahead of time, but if you need to cancel because of weather or something comes up, you're out your payment. All right. So, Kai, you close this like so. And then you can open up all the windows, which we'll do to air out. Oh, let's see this window back here. Like so. And this window right here. And then these open. Hey, Nuna. Oh, you're fine. I have a fan. Oh, you want to go grab it out of your bedroom? Yeah. Just make sure to stand on that rug so you don't get the floor dirty. Perfect. You could also sleep in here on this thing if you wanted. Yeah. These top windows when you open them, holy cow, do they make such a huge difference in air ventilation in here. John said that there's a... There's, enough, there's a fan attachment or adapter that we can buy that would like exhaust and pull air through. So that's also a consideration for this thing. Again, kind of have to figure out, we need to take it out. This weekend will be, this coming weekend will be a good time to like try this thing out. It's supposed to rain on Saturday, so that'll just be another test to see how this thing does. But until we 
have used it overnight and been in it, I don't think we'll really know what exactly we want to do to this thing or if it needs any fixes. And if it's in really good condition, like we think it is, then I can start kind of putting money into fixing it up. So, yeah, I don't know if any of that makes sense. I'm kind of tired and it's a little bit hot right now, so I'm not thinking super straight. Um, Luna's over here hanging out. I'm trying to acclimate her to the camper when really I should be trying to acclimate Georgie because Georgie's the one who's scared crapless <laughs> in here. I'll come in. You're not. So small. I mean, it's so small. I mean, I don't know. It's just like if we we're all living in here at once. Well, we won't all live in here, but we will hang out in here together. Hi. You're okay, Nuna. Stay there. What is this? Is this a fire extinguisher? Actually, I think this just slides. What? Is that a fire extinguisher? Is what a fire extinguisher? A little red canister. Huh? A little red guy. Uh, probably. Oh, okay. Oh, you know what? I think this is how this is supposed to go. <laughs> oh. The foamy stuff probably needs to be. It really stuff. does because there's like a huge space between here and here. Do you want to sleep in here, Kai, or do you want to sleep like in a tent? No, I think it's a good idea for her to sleep in a tent. Our kids need to know what it's like to rough it a little bit. Yeah. I think it's good for them, just like it was for us. I think if you painted that, because that's like a broken little, it's like oh, broken Oh, I was through. talking about these hand prints as I was trying to get off from opening and closing. You use the camper to get to the same places, or you can use this to get to places which, which is more attractive to me and mom probably. If you get to live somewhere short term, and you can't stay. More remote places that don't have hotels or yeah, things. Yeah, they power and water and that's it. Well, and I like the idea of having a camper just because I like having stuff easily set up and then you're not breaking down so long. But camping, I think, is an important tool to A, know how to do and how to accept and have fun doing. Because the more you learn how to appreciate and have fun doing things with nothing, the better you'll be as a human being, and the more you, even more you'll appreciate when you actually have the things that make things better. But most of, like, a lot of my memories, the most fondest memories, even though they sucked sometimes while they were happening, were from all the times we had nothing and were camping and making do. Oh, it's hot. Guys, it is Monday. First day of school. I didn't get footage of Wyatt this morning before he left for school because he leaves for school a lot earlier because he's part of a carpool and his school starts earlier in the morning and also he has to wear a uniform so I didn't want to have to deal with like the blurring and all of that but mainly because it was so early in the morning. Kaya will be going to school earlier once her advanced classes start um, but that's not until next week so she's excited for her first day aren't ya? Look older, why don't you? We actually have an eighth grader, a fifth grader, and a freshman in college. So crazy. Are you feeling old yet, John? No. I'm good. I feel old. Not in a bad way, I just feel like stage in my life-wise I feel old. And it's very unsettling because I feel like I have so much time left, which I do but it's just weird. Like I still have friends who are still purposely having children. <laughs> Good morning. So it is Wednesday. I really, really, really was trying not to make these vlogs multi-days. Remember when I said that a couple of vlogs back? <laughs> uh, I took Kai to school and then stopped by the grocery store. I know I complain about how expensive things are, but seriously, Kaya loves granola. Just honey oat, like nothing special. She doesn't care if it's generic. She loves granola. $10. I couldn't find a bag for less than $10. <sighs> like what the heck? 
I remember getting those same exact bags for like $5.99. Yeah, I basically got dinner for tonight, which I'm making spaghetti, and I got all Kroger brand, like whatever the cheapest on the shelf was I got. I got maybe one thing of Oreos was the only thing that was not on my list. But basically I just got stuff to make dinner tonight and a few breakfast items that we were out of. And I spent $71, and that's after all my like Kroger coupons. I just, I know, I sound like a broken old lady record, but. It really is shocking. Like, I get it now why my parents are like, oh, I can't believe how expensive things are when I was a kid. <sighs> I just thought I would be, like, in my 50s when I started saying that, you know, not in my 30s. It is so ungodly hot out. We are going through this weird, humid uh, heat wave kind of thing. I'm hoping that it clears up and gets cooler by Friday because we have reservations at Jellystone uh, to go camping. So we're going to Barton Lake, Jellystone. We've passed that place so many times on the way to visit family and on the way to Chicago. And it's huge. They have like water slides and like water parks and a huge campground and four pools, one indoor, an arcade, like all these things. And we've never camped there. Growing up, we stayed at like the most affordable campgrounds and KOAs and Jellystones weren't always the cheapest, especially the Jellystones because there's so many things that you can do. So it's like padded into the price of your campsite. So I'm excited to finally experience one as an adult and I'm excited to take the kids. So. We really, really, really wanted to go on one camping trip before the summer's end so that way we could do like swimming type activities with the kids, you know, as kind of like a last hurrah before the summer is done done. Jellystone just seemed like a really good choice and also they were the only campground within five hours that had an opening for this weekend. Would have stayed overnight and camped in Warren Dunes two weekends ago, but we couldn't find any campsites available. So Jellystone is costing us about 160, I think, for two nights, which again, for just a gravel pad and electricity is kind of a lot. But again, it's padding in like the free mini golf and the pools and the water slides. So I'm hoping it's worth it, we'll see. But basically we're gonna do our first camp being with the kids in this kind of situation at a more comfortable place. Since this is our first time out with a camper, I don't wanna be in the middle of nowhere and not have any resources just in case. And since it is our first time camping with our kids, it just makes sense to go somewhere again where we're more comfortable. And then if it goes well, then, you know, go from there. So the whole point of us taking my parents camper was to see if this was the right kind of setup for us and if this is if we would go you know when we had the pool at the old house especially after we built the like permanent one and spent all that money three summers ago before we moved <laughs> still kicking myself for doing that because we only had one full month of that whole setup being good until we moved when we did that i felt like we not bur were burdened, but we felt like we had to be in the pool every single weekend because we spent so much money and time on that. And so it made it seem like we couldn't go do anything else out of town or go do any other activities if it was a nice day. So what I don't want to see happening with the camper is I don't want to have a camper and then feel like because we have the camper, we have to be camping every weekend because that's obviously not what I want to do. I enjoy camping. I'm really excited to camp, but I don't want it to necessarily take over our entire lives like I know that it can. So... We're gonna go start off slow. We'll go to Jellystone because it's only an hour and a half away from here. Um, again, it's kind of like basically glamping because there's so many amenities there. Um, although, you know, you still have to go to a shared shower and bathroom and all of that. But I've been to campgrounds where you had porter potties and that was it. And you sometimes didn't even have that. <laughs> and the showers were like outdoors and had like fencing around like you could see people's feet and you could see people's heads and kind of the situation so um yeah I think it'll be fine um again we would like to do more remote camping or camping more like deeper into woods but this is again just our first time so I'm excited about that but I'm hoping it cools off a little bit because the kids are going to be camping in a tent and we're going to be camping in the camper and neither places has air conditioning, which I can rough it and I have numerous times, but my kids are a little soft. I'm not going to lie. They're soft. I, they're soft. We'll see how this goes. You know, during the day, they're perfectly fine being super hot and sweaty, but at nighttime, they can be a little bit grouchy if it's too hot and humid. So I'm hoping that it rains today and tomorrow so that can kind of push out some of that humidity, but 
we shall see. We are taking the dogs, which actually, after reading a bunch of campgrounds rules about dogs, you can only have two pets at most places. So it kind of makes more sense of why we shouldn't get a third dog. So I did tell Kaya that she was not happy to hear that. She really wants a third dog, but yeah. So we're going to take them and I got to go buy some dog treats, some really nice dog treats because Georgie's a barker and this is kind of, I'm kind of a little bit concerned that maybe she's going to be too reactive while we're there. So oh, it'll be our first experience at kind of training her to not be a psycho so that way we can go camping with her. I groomed her yesterday because we're going to be out in hot heat and or woods and stuff like that. So to minimize ticks and all of that, I got to groom Nuna still. Um, I'll probably do her tomorrow, but I can't do two dogs on, in the same day anymore. It just kills my back. It is Friday. <laughs> I had to think about that for a second. It is so nasty out. Look, see all that? Like, that's humidity. Like, it's so gross. So gross. Like, all the windows in my house look like this. Yeah, it's nasty out. We are going camping today, which I'm a little bit concerned about for the kids' this first time. You know, I suffered through humidity and all sorts of terrible weather camping with my family growing up. So I know it's good for them to experience this, but I want to have a good time camping. I don't want to be miserable with them. And when kids are complaining and whining, it's miserable. So we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, I have a ton I need to get done. The kids are at school. I need to shave down Nuna. I did Georgie yesterday and I need to go and get all of our food for the weekend and a few items that apparently Amazon delayed on shipping. So yeah, that is what I'm gonna do today. Uh, so I'm gonna let you go because I have, like need to get it done before the kids get home from school because we're leaving right away. John is in Detroit for work right now. He'll be home around one. So hopefully we can get everything done in time. But yeah, the second the kids get home, we're leaving so we can take advantage of the park as much as we can since it is just Friday night, Saturday, and then Sunday morning that we'll be there. So yeah, the next vlog that you'll see will be out at the campground and I'll make sure to take you along with us and show you a little bit of Jellystone because I've only been driven past there millions of times. I've never actually been inside the park. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching as always. Uh, not sure I remember what's on this vlog, but I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys at the campground. Mm -hmm.